Hello, and welcome back to Endless Mode. I'm Mysterious Gamer X. I'm Captain Emoji. I'm Isaac Lore. And I'm Buntor the Bard. And we are going to check out what Harley Quinn and Gang are up to. Very Scooby-Doo. I mean, it's a big shack. There's nefarious dudes doing stuff. Oh, oh, that's what I want for DLC. Scooby-Doo? And the gang. They, I mean, they, they, they are in the DC unit. universe. They are. Uh, they're both owned by Warner Brothers, so the comics crossover. Plus, they had Batman in the Scooby-Doo cartoon a few times. Keep them moving. I'll see what that's about. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll kick that up the line. I think you should be one of the Scooby gang, and the rest of them are summonable. And your special uh, should be the... Probably not, Harley. And your special will be the mystery machine. Quite a catch, Ivy. Your, your trait... supposed to better care for the greens. All he's done is remodel the concrete jungles of Gotham and Metropolis. Where I sit, there's not much difference between him and Superman. You can really? negotiate with Batman. You short of a Superman would just have eliminated you. Because, you know, evil Superman. Rod will keep his promises. Or he'll be my next victim. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let me get you out of here, girl. <laughs> Black Mary keeps the knife. We can team up again. She is straight up ready to like abandon Team Batman and go do crime with her. Well, I think she was straight up sending an invitation to Poison Ivy to join Team Batman. Ah, yep. uh, yeah, that'd be interesting, actually. Because they're friends. They are. Theoretically, Poison Ivy doesn't have to be a bad guy. Oh. It's true. Oh, I can't wait to learn how to do that. Um, and I mean, honestly, my my favorite iteration of these two characters is when they're friends. Yeah, Gotham City Sirens. Gotham City Sirens. Um, there was a Harley and Ivy book that was like a team-up buddy book that was very much like Batman Superman Adventures style. It was excellent. Um, oh, the animated series has a Christmas episode where uh, the two of them break out of prison and manage to get the drop on Bruce Wayne, not knowing that he's Batman, of course, um, with her, uh, you know, control pheromones. Mm -hmm. And they go on a shopping spree. He takes a re relatively normally dressed Harley and Ivy on a shopping spree because they have complete control of him. Mm -hmm. uh, he's completely aware of what they're doing. And you can see him sweating as he tries not to sign his name on checks and stuff. And he buys them, like, a gorillion dollars worth of stuff. And there's, like, a, a montage of shopping that looks like it was just hilarious. Yeah. It was cheeky and fun. And I, I think if they... I think if they had, uh... given up crime afterwards, he might have let him keep the stuff, even. Did he take all the stuff back? Oh, I'm certain he did. Oh, what a jerk. <laughs> well, I mean, what was he going to do with it? Was I mean, he keep it? Well, in he prison? Had, he had to arrest them because, you know, they were doing villainy stuff. They didn't know that he was Batman. So you they kind of dropped Bruce Wayne down an elevator shaft. They did also do that. <laughs> oh, I have it in the face. <clears throat> no more sleepovers for you. Everything's weak to hammer? Of course everything's weak to hammer. Face your fears. Then you'll appreciate my new formula. I do find the the sneeze was very charming. Oh, yeah. He's not what should have walked out of that. It should have been Joker. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, as much as she loves her Puddin, she also recognizes exactly what he is sometimes. And usually knows when to get out of the way. But, uh, but no, I really feel like, at least during that cutscene there, the Joker is what, would have, what should have walked out. I mean... I only aspire to be this good with Scarecrow. Ow, oh, ow. what the heck was that? Schizophrenia. Oh, 
looked like Shadow Clone Jutsu. But, uh... But yeah, it should have it should have been, like, either the Joker walking out, or we should have heard the Joker's, like, trademark laugh or something, and then him popping through the smoke, I think. Mm -hmm. That's not me saying that they did a bad job, it's just my personal take on, like, what the Fear Toxin would do. I, uh... Yeah. They should do that. Like, I don't want to complain about the writing, because I think that you're actually, so far, I'm, I'm really engrossed um you know I'm engaged with the story and the characters I mean we just started I'm curious where they're going with it but so far it's been entertaining yeah the the bit with Brainiac I know it's foreshadowing but it hasn't paid off yet but you know we're one chapter in wow <laughs> yeah that is funny. I do like... I do like the agility of uh, the Harley Quinn character. Yeah. Uh, I will admit the Scarecrow so is very... Close. Very weird. Scarecrow has a weird moveset. Yeah. I always wonder why characters with guns in this game just don't... Like, why isn't shoot punch? <laughs> I mean, you ever seen someone play that shot? <laughs> uh, not at the level where shoot is punch, no. Uh, <clears throat> it's a thing. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, Jeff's a he thing. He apparently has some serious zone coverage, uh, thanks to the, like the different shots he can do. Um, there's this one that ricochets that. Uh, Really uh, brings the whole move set together, I guess. Yeah, especially because you can meter burn it for different angles. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. know that. That's crazy. <sighs> Deadshot's OTP. OTP? <laughs> you want true pairing? Yep. For you! With what? Himself. <laughs> this is not the question. <laughs> we'll find out in the comments. <laughs> uh, hey. We're gonna get a bunch of weird fan art now. Sure the only hope. <laughs> so, um, I never say there were three different types of characters in this game in terms of like what they can interact with the train uh, in what way. Yeah, there's. Can everyone through the gator, or is that just strong people's? I th think only strong people, but each object has like. Um, like, there's super strength characters, there's, uh, uh I uh, guess, technological characters, and there's, uh, acrobatic characters. Uh -huh. Well, they might have dropped technical, or te uh, technology characters since Injustice 1. But, like, there are things that only acrobatic characters can interact with, and they jump off of them. Mm. Um, super strength characters tend to just pick whatever they jumped off on and hit the guys with it. That's cool. Uh, technological characters typically, like, make things explode with bombs. Like, computer consoles and, like, yeah. big alien tech pieces and stuff? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think they got rid of, uh, the tech character thing. Oh, I, I think just noticed just there's a time limit. It yeah. makes sense to simplify it, honestly. Because a lot of your tech characters are also acrobat characters. Or super strength characters, like in the case of Cyborg. Sure. Yeah, Cyborg can do a car throw as well as anybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, this one's so brutal. God, that's oh. just... Finish him! Oh, my. We ain't done playing yet. Oh, I flinch every time. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that definitely... They, they made it really resonate. Right. Instantly. I have rendered you normal human scientist. Not even unconscious with that. <laughs> Debt. Uh, it's okay. All she does to do is adjust her cognition of him. Which oh, is weird, because so, normally you so hit your entire, own head to do that. So that entire fight might have been in her head. With maybe just a couple of swings being real. 
So is it a spoiler if it's a guess? <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. But maybe? We'll, we'll have to check Urban Dictionary for that. Yeah, so I, I'm going into this blind. I haven't played the story mode for Injustice 2. I call hacks. Joker didn't look like this in the first Injustice. <laughs> Cost... <laughs> Cos playing a superhero, LARPing in the Batcave. Oh man, she's going to Comic Con. Actually, she yeah, was she, all over Comic Con. Actually, I was gonna say actually, yeah, she's she's totally all over the Comic Con scene. Scratch, 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 scratch. Harley was never actually like that. <laughs> Oof. Hey. The the old school Harley costume. <laughs> oh, so her fear is like doing the bad guy thing again. I think her fear is the Joker coming back. Well, that too. Oh, Harley, always being controlled by the Joker. Yeah. You go, girl. Oh, we had mad love once upon a time. That really was a that, that comic really was a turning point for the character too. Oh, she mad was, love. Yeah, that's that's where she was literally going to beat the Batman, uh, and you know she. The crowbar is vicious. She picked. No. She um, she fixed one of uh, Joker's. Jokey schemes. Do I have a different moveset? No. Hopefully we get to keep the costume, though. Like, that's what I want to look like in Versus mode. Oh my wow. sure. oh, I'm not sure if you do or don't. That's a neat trick. <sighs> Did he shoot it through his ears? Well, that's what it looked like. Yeah. Wow, those grenades are right at head height. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's brutal, but uh. It's appropriate. I'm struggling here. You're doing fine. Just remember, it's all in your head. <laughs> uh, I want to point out that every time she does it, the bat is broken. Yep. That is not a light hit. That is not a gentle tap. That is. Wreck your face. <laughs> One could call it a love tap. <laughs> I feel yeah. sorry for whatever stump or gator or hapless move ends up getting hit with that in real life. <laughs> oh. uh, uh, so, uh, uh. when the Red Hood gets unlocked, we, we need to do an exhibition match uh. of Red Hood versus Joker. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I am going to play... Get one with me and the kid, and then one with the crowbar! Hold still. No, this is better! I'm the only one who's gonna get what he wants tonight! In case any of you wonder, we're quoting under but the they're not dead. We, not dead. Not <laughs> dead. Nobody died in that. You know, he Zero may... people died in that string of explosions. He may have given up on that. I mean, and I besides, he's not here right now. Ollie did that. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> From who? Oh, you tell me. I heard you were dead. <laughs> We've angered Swamp Thing. This Apparently. Is... I wonder if him and Poison Ivy have ever had just a chat. Mm. They have interesting banter in verses. I was just thinking oh! about the fact that, like... There was a second Swamp Thing, and it hit me. Yep, because of the I dream. Like well, that. I mean, technically, there isn't one Swamp Thing. He's uh, connected to the whole... She tells the Swamp Thing that the Green needs new management in one of them. Ooh. You know, honestly, I feel like they should just trade gardening tips. <laughs> 
They should just talk about, like, perennials or, like, soft peat. I think he also calls her, uh, uh, the fake guardian of the green or something like that. I can see that. Because her power is, uh... Well, her powers are all derived from science and stuff. Like, it's not a connection to whatever, I don't know, great underlying power there is. The, the green or whatever. Yeah. I mean, she's she's as connected to the green as a bottle of Roundup is. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, well, you're not wrong. I mean, but still, I think it would be funny if they just started talking about plants. You know, ironically, I think Swamp Thing is one of the few heroes who's stronger in Vertigo than in DC. Uh, yeah, probably. Because when he is hanging out with the uh, well, I can't use Constantine as an example anymore. He's part of the DC again. Yeah. But back in the day, back when back when it was Hellblazer, John Constantine, and not just Constantine, um, he was pretty much. I don't know. He was it. I mean, if we're talking about the mortal realm, he he was up there with Secret. actual Satan in power. Hmm. Ah. No. He yeah. Blocked he it. blocked it. It's definitely not a guy that would get taken out with a novelty hammer. Well, <laughs> I probably should have told you to press square twice first. Because that's all it takes to chain a super in this game. Mm. Oh, it's true. They were mixing a whole bunch of random stuff in that garage there. Basically, Basically, like a super. Swamp meth thing's lab. a good guy, right? He wouldn't kill us. Oh, oh yeah, he would, he would, he would kill all sorts of people. <laughs> he would kill all of humanity if he thought it would help. Uh, I mean, the only thing that the only thing that stops him is he's got a dude rattling around in his brain, giving him some sense of morality. And the, the world's got evil Superman in Lawful. it. He probably doesn't want to rock. That if much you ever want to be on the team, true. we'd love to have you. Evil Superman seems like the so, kind of dude who would just go around, like, heat-visioning forests. Oh, oh yeah. Well, you know, he probably did to keep it busy. Because, like, Superman would just, uh, you know, beat up Swamp Thing, and then Swamp Thing will come back. So he probably just gave him something to do. Like, because, like he said, this swamp must heal. He's going to spend the next week or so, like... Sorting all of the chemical waste out of it, okay. balling it up, and putting it somewhere. So technically speaking, I know who you are, but why? I think this is you. Oh, oh. Supergirl? Where were you? It's uh, <clears throat> going to be Ollie and Black Canary <clears throat> next, I think. How many times hmm. have we told you? It's too dangerous outside Condock. I spent decades... Dangerous for... Ooh. I was sleep until Adam found my ship. And now I'm cooped up here. How can we make you more comfortable? Oh, oh. Let's this must be the resistance. Diana, you've taught me what my powers can do. Cuz uh Wonder Woman's on the side of Superman, right? So yeah. Devoted. Yeah, she's evil. So this is this is their trump card is they've got another super person. He can't know about you before we're ready. I'm not afraid of some guy in a mask. Ugh. I can bend steel with my bare So could the other guy. Everybody in that room can do that. Well, what good are these powers if I can't even help Kal El? We win, Kara. Well, I mean, become a psychologist. That'd help. <laughs> help in a big way. <laughs> become a grief counselor. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, seriously. Actually, that'd be great. Um, Marvel has an equivalent there. Uh, Doc Samson. Mm. He's a gamma-powered guy. Not quite as strong as Hulk, but he's still really strong. Um, and I mean, not being as strong as Hulk still means you're really strong. I mean, like, that's not a, a low bar. But, uh, yeah, he's he's a psychiatrist. And he, he grief counsels, uh, like, supervillains and heroes and stuff. There was a great comic about Fin Fang Foom, where, uh, he was given community service and had to check in with a therapist every week, and it was Doc Same. Mommy and Daddy are coming home late. Oh. I gotta 
play. Okay. So, out of curiosity, just what are the roaming charges for interdimensional calls? Or interdimensional calls? It's a satellite no one knows about. Hmm. I'm, I'm pretty sure that means that he has his own straight talk surface. I'm pretty sure he didn't monetize it. I don't know, he's capitalist. <laughs> this is one of those many things that gets written off as R&D. <laughs> he, he probably had one of those things where he doesn't have to pay taxes for the next 20 years because he wrote it down as a loss. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and extradite Gorilla Grodd next time on Endless Mode. <laughs> next time. Like and subscribe, comment, tell us how we're doing. Thanks again for watching. And next episode, we're going to punch a monkey.